what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There's been a lot of bad news associated with Mayweather name over the past several weeks, and Floyd Mayweather has had no control over any of it. Just about three weeks ago, the mother of three of his children was found dead in her car. His uncle who trained him was found dead about a couple of weeks ago. And now his daughter, Ayana, is in the news for stabbing a girl over NBA young boy. Backstory, according to reports, they were at NBA's house in Houston and Ayana showed up and saw another girl at the house. She is asked to leave this is according to reports. Young boy security steps in and asks her to leave or whatever. She leaves and returns. According to her, the young lady tried to attack her and that's when she opened up on her with a knife and stabbed her multiple times. The young lady is in critical condition I ain't got to tell y'all family how ridiculous this is. They said that Ayana told the woman to leave because she is NBA young boy's fiance. She needs to leave. You see, this is one of those situations where when you come in, you see it ain't right person that you're supposed to be with, it appears to be stepping out on you or whatever. Whatever's going on, it's up to you to get an understanding with that person first. And if it looks like what you think it is, then the best thing you can do is bounce. Don't make, or put it like this, don't allow a temporary action to have permanent results in your life, permanent negative results. Because I'm gonna tell you something, Ayana is about to be, well, she's already been charged. She's been, a, she's been charged with an aggravated assault and they're probably up those charges to attempted murder. And this is with a deadly weapon, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. I'm sure they'll upgrade those charges to attempted murder, more than likely. So now she's 19 years old. She has a criminal record. And who knows, she'll probably end up having to go to jail behind this. While she's in jail, what do you think NBA young boy will be doing? Better yet, who do you think he'll be doing? People who don't know how to keep their emotions in check when they're facing some type of adversity are the last people that should be involved in a romantic relationship. They can't handle it. They're going to lose it. First thing they're going to do is start stressing. Then they're gonna hurl insults. Next thing you know, they're striking something, killing something. She doing all of that over a dude. We don't own each other. If I call you my girlfriend, you call me your boyfriend, or I call you my wife, you call me your husband. That's simply to let everybody know what our relationship is. 
It does not mean I own you or you own me. That's where we get things messed up at. It's like, we we look at things like, we look at relationships like, that's my car. Well, that's my car. I bought it, you know? That's my car. That's mine. That's my phone. I bought it. That's mine. That's mine. Well, with people, a person can be like, okay, no, that's my girlfriend. And five minutes later, she, she can be like, well, I'm done with this relationship. I'm gone. And she could be gone and, and, and be somebody else's girlfriend in five minutes. And ain't nothing you can do about it. If you claim that car or that phone and somebody take it, then, you know, you got some type of action. Now you can get at the authorities and say, hey, it stole my phone, stole my car, press some charges, you know, get some get back. But we don't own each other, people. We don't own each other. This is not slavery. People be thinking that they enter into some type of slave agreement when somebody say, you my girlfriend, or you my boyfriend, you my husband, you my wife. And a lot of times, it has to do with maturity. Not age, maturity. Sometimes age is a factor because typically when you're young, you're not going to be mature. But I said maturity because some people never grow up. Some people flip out when they're young, they're teenagers, early 20s. They flip out when a relationship don't work out, they just lose it. As they get older and they go through things, they have different other relationships, then they understand, they put all that information together and they understand how to navigate through relationships. Some people can be in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and their asses still don't get it. Something happened in a the relationship, they snap, kill everything. Now I know some of you are saying, well damn Willie D, that's easier said than done, man. Somebody start playing with your heart, man. You know, you don't know what you'll do. I get it. I've been there. And I'm telling you, you have to love yourself first. And if you really love yourself like you want to be loved or you think you deserve to be loved, then you won't do anything to jeopardize your freedom or your health. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.